Here we presents the top 5 best gaming keyboards. Starting at number 5, SteelSeries Apex 3. Coming in hot at just $49.99 is the SteelSeries Apex 3, a budget-conscious option from the company's excellent Apex line. That immediately makes it a great choice for anyone who wants a flashy gaming experience, but is keen not to break the bank. Despite the lower price meaning some features have been dropped from this model, the build quality of the SteelSeries Apex 3 is undeniably still up to snuff, with a durable polymer frame and pleasingly grippy plastic keycaps. Yes, the SteelSeries Apex 3 lacks some of the fancy, add-ons boasted by its more expensive siblings. There's no tiny OLED display for quick customization here, as per the SteelSeries Apex 5, nor is there a USB pass-through, the latter of which is a shame, but unsurprising in a more affordable keyboard. It does retain a lot of features, though. That includes three-way cable routing channels along the underside, and 10-zone RGB lighting, which looks great, and is good to see in a budget gaming keyboard. The big design flaw here for many potential buyers is the lack of mechanical key switches. The membrane switches in the Apex 3 are SteelSeries own whisper quiet design, and that does ring true. Much like the Razer Sinosa V2, the keys feel a bit spongy, but make little to no noise. One benefit of these switches, is that they make the keyboard waterproof, or at least, IP32 rated dust and water resistant. There are channels under the keycaps running to small drainage holes on the base of the chassis, allowing a spilled drink to drain out harmlessly. On the whole, the aesthetic choices and manufacturing standard hold up well against both more expensive keyboards and the Apex 3's immediate competitors in the $50 range. We do wish it had a braided cable, but this is really a minor gripe. Unless you're very selective, when it comes to the switches on your keyboard, the SteelSeries Apex 3 is an excellent choice. With great durability and a decent amount of features, it's hard to claim that this keyboard is anything other than amazing value for money. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Razer Sinosa Chroma. Razer and its peripherals have often stood as an example of excellence in modern gaming. This level of performance, however, usually comes at a price. The Razer Sinosa Chroma Gaming Keyboard, however, is an exception. This entry-level model is the second keyboard entry in Razer's Essential line, which offers similar performance to some of its more elaborate models, but sheds mechanical switches in favor of membrane or mecha-membrane hybrid designs. These more conventional switch designs lower the price point you might associate with a gaming-grade keyboard, while allowing you to retain the excellent proprietary Razer Synapse software. The design of the Sinosa Chroma is simple, with the exception of the RGB lighting, from a cursory glance it does little to differentiate itself from a stock-level keyboard. The shallow, recessed keys, similar to the ones on the Razer or not a Chroma, are housed in a black plastic chassis, with no additional macros, media buttons, or even USB pass-through. The overall lack of add-ons makes it modestly sized as 104 key keyboards go. It's only 2 pounds and measures 1 by 7 by 18 inches, which makes it comparable in size to most conventional membrane keyboards. However, what sets Synapse apart is the Chroma Workshop, which allows specific games or applications to coordinate with your keyboard's backlighting. My favorite is the integration for Blizzard's Overwatch, which has specific color palettes that change based on which character you use. This version of Synapse also introduces support for Razer's new Hypershift function, which allows you to assign secondary capabilities for any key. Hypershift, paired with the Synos's ability for on-the-fly macro recording, ensures limited trips back to the Synapse 3 software to custom tailor your gaming experience. Halfway of my listed number 3, Hyperx Pudding. RGB keyboards are all the rage right now, but if you're the kind of gamer who likes their setup to look unique, Hyperx may just have the answer for you. Today, we're reviewing their latest custom keycap set with the Double Shot PBT Pudding keycaps. If you're looking to take your lighting to the next level, this is definitely one you're not going to want to miss. If you've been following the site for a while, you may have noticed that we originally reviewed the puddings in September of last year. I was surprised when Hyperx reached out so soon after, but they've done a couple of revisions that are worth noting. And plus, if you're an RGB fan, they're a cheap way to really make your keyboard shine. Here, you can see the pudding keycap next to a double shot PBT keycap from the Hyperx X Ducky 1 2 Mini. Notice the little black tabs on the inside? That's where the black top joins the rest of the keycap. 
Wearing those legends down will take years and years of heavy use, longer than the life of your keyboard. The other thing to notice is that the keycap walls aren't quite as thick as some stock PBTs on keyboards like the Ducky. Since PBT is a denser plastic, to allow the RGB effect to remain bright and vibrant, the keycap walls have to remain a bit thinner. This results in a higher pitch typing sound than you might be expecting, so if you're already using thick PBT keycaps, be prepared for a sound change. As you can tell, the difference is night and day. It transformed an already bright keyboard into an RGB eye catcher. Clearly, however, this is for RGB lovers only. If you're not completely and 100% sold on bright customizable keyboards, this won't be for you. For the rest of us, this set offers an excellent visual upgrade, as well as improved durability to keep these caps looking good for years to come. Coming in at number 2. Redragon K552. There are so many brands and models of keyboards in the market, you can get one for less than $10 and another, that costs upwards of $150, but how do you find out whether your choice will satisfy you? The Redragon K552 Kumara mechanical keyboard is designed keeping the needs of most basic gamers. This includes professional gamers too. In fact, for coders, writers, and editors this is the keyboard to get without spending a good deal of money. Coming to the specifications of the Redragon K552, it offers a total of 87 double-shot injection molded keys, so no numpad on this keyboard. But because of that, the size is compact. This keyboard offers conflict-free keys with 100% anti-ghosting and a high polling rate. This together with the use of custom mechanical keys gives it superior responsiveness and gaming abilities. Speaking of the mechanical keys, they are not branded switches like Cherry MX or the Sorts. However, the feel and build are quite similar to the Cherry MX Blue Keys, though we feel these have a longer travel and are way more clicky with a heavier tactile feedback. Those who type a lot or code will actually find the noise and response quite satisfying as you really can never miss a single key with this keyboard. I can spend hours typing non-stop on this baby and never tire. Neither do I have to worry missing a keystroke because you either hit a key or you don't and you know when you do thanks to the audible nature of the click. The Kumar K552 from Redragon will satisfy majority of gamers barring one or two. For its price tag, there really is nothing to complain about. Even at twice its current price, this would still qualify as a must-have in our list of gaming keyboards. Superior construction, impressive tactile feedback, and simplistic but ergonomic design are probably the reasons why we recommend this keyboard to one and all. Yes, it lacks macro keys, yes the lights are bright red, but everything else about this keyboard is top-notch. In some areas, it even outdoes thrice as expensive keyboards. Got some cash, got a gaming keyboard already, we suggest you still purchase a Redragon mechanical keyboard, just to get a taste of what we got hooked onto. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. And number 1. Redragon S101. To take your gaming to the next level, the Redragon keyboard has four different backlighting colors and five different breathing speeds to choose from. 25 of the 104 keys are non-conflict, 12 are multimedia keys, and there are eight management keys. Depending on your use, you can also disable the win key for an easier gaming experience. You'll love the high-quality laser engraved keys, the braided 3mm fiber cable, and the fact that the keyboard is entirely splash-proof. Even though the Redragon S101 gaming keyboard and mouse combo may seem like the answer to your problems, it's also important to take note of any alternatives on the market that might offer a few more features that you'd be interested in, such as the SportsBot SS302 gaming combo. Although when compared to one another, they offer relatively the same features, the SportsBot SS302 excels in terms of audio quality through their headset and a couple of other features. Instead of simple high-quality audio, the SportsBot headset also offers bass-boosting technology, cool to have, if you like to relax in your comfortable seat and listen to music once in a while. No matter how you look at it, there will always be a better gaming keyboard than the one in front of you, but the important thing to remember is that when you're shopping on a budget, you might be able to find a hidden gem such as the Redragon S101 gaming keyboard and mouse combo. When up against tougher competitors that are far more expensive, the Redragon combo stands strong, giving you the perfect equipment that you need for an everyday gaming experience. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price.
Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe.